two common Native American tribes that made some of the most beautiful basketry are the Pima Indians and the Apache. Now, for some people, they look very similar. And today, I want to try to show you what the differences are and how you, as somebody who might be interested in them, can tell. The Pima makes baskets like this. This is a classic example of a Pima man in the maze. It's made out of willow. It's also made out of devil's claw. This is a very, very tight basket and a wonderful example. Another example would be this basket, which is a squash blossom basket. Also very, you can see the patina on it is a white patina, which is the willow, and the black, which is the devil's claw. These are classic examples of Pima baskets. This would be a petal design. This is a man in the maze. One of the things about Pima baskets is you can, they're flexible. And the reason is, is because how they are constructed. And this is critical when you're trying to determine it. You can go by pattern, but pattern alone is not what you use to diagnose or to find out what these baskets are. So when you're looking, you want to see if it's flexible. If it's very flexible, like these are, it's very likely it's Pima. And the reason is, is that they're made out of a grass foundation. Now, a grass foundation allows for flexibility, and it's how you, as an observer, can figure out if it is Pima or a different tribe. Look for little breaks where there may be a few stitches missing, and that will show you where the foundation is. The Apaches, which are made like this basket, you'll notice I'm pushing on it, but it doesn't really want to give, and that's because the foundation of this basket is willow rods. It's a rod foundation. Pimas are located with a grass foundation. So this is much more sturdy. And these made great big baskets for storage. And they were very successful at this and made what are called oyas. Oyas are a very tall basket uh, with a bulbous middle that would be used for grain and storage. The Pima baskets did make oyas, but as a general rule, were not as big and are not as sought after as the Apache Oyas. The Apache baskets like this, very typical, you'll see a star design. Uh, often you'll have figurative works and crosses. This is a pretty classic example of an Apache figurative basket. We call this a tray. Again, look on the areas of the basket where you can see the foundation. You can see right here that there is a broken area and you can see the rod. These are made from the same materials, willow and devil's claw, the foundation is different. Foundation tells you everything. Willow rods, patchy, grass foundation, peanut.